What's going on babes? It is Erin and welcome back to this crazy, freaky, spooky, makeup obsessed channel. I'm sorry for the long intro, sorry not sorry. Let's get into today's video or tonight's video. I'm super weird, if you have a problem with that, like, bye. But if you don't and if you want to stay for the video then you are welcome to. So today we are going to be testing out, reviewing and swatching the brand new Makeup Revolution Christmas Collection palettes. I have two of the palettes right here. I don't have them all. I will be ordering them, the rest of them from Tam Beauty. These are the ones that were available in my local pharmacy. So yeah. And yeah, we are going to be reviewing and testing them. I'm going to just turn off the big light because it's annoying me and I want you guys to like see me clearly and stuff okay I'm back so that's a lot better now you guys can just see me with my freaking ring light which is so much better I really like the packaging on these they have glitter but it's suspensed in this kind of shiny polishy almost like a taco like a top coat it's almost like a nail polish top coat like that the glitter you can't feel it which is awesome and we are also going to be having a look at the Revolution Lip Trends. These are the Lip Ultra Vamps, the 2017 ones. These look super interesting because I have a lot of nude lipsticks, as you can see behind me on my Alex drawers. But I don't have many deep, dark, vampy, Halloween-y, autumnal shades, winter shades, stuff like that. So I decided to try these out also. So the two palettes I got, first of all, there's this gold one. And these are the Life on the Dance Floor palettes. This is the VIP palette. These were each €12. Euro, and I got them in like a pharmacy that's like close by to me. Close by to my house. So here we go. Here's This is the VIP palette. It has all the names right here, which I freaking love. It has a little sheet with the names on them, as you guys can see. And this is the palette right here. It is so, so pretty. This is more of a matte palette. There is some shimmers in it, but mainly mattes. So I hope you guys can see the colors. Like so. Really pretty colors. Over here, if you have a deeper skin tone, as Soph said on her channel, you would probably be limited to these shades because these shades would be too light for deeper skin tones on a lot of deeper skin tones. There is some super pretty transition shades over this side of the palette. Deeper shades here. There are some shimmery shades. Like that one's shimmery. That one's a little bit shimmery. Here's a deep one. Let's swatch the deeper one. Super, super pretty. Let's swatch this one here. <gasps> like the pigmentation on these is just so amazing and stunning. These were 12 euro each. So if we swatch some of them on my hand for you guys like so you can see they are super super pigmented so that one is the palette the VIP palette right here and we also have this palette we're gonna grab some makeup wipes because if you guys know I am obsessed with swatching things also recently I would definitely say I'm a revaholic which is basically like a makeup aholic, you buy a lot of makeup, but I buy a lot of makeup revolution. I am becoming a revaholic because their products are just so affordable. I test out a lot of high end brands on my channel and I still will continue doing that, but I also want to test out mainly drugstore brands as they're more affordable and more accessible to, like, you know, us, the average people right here. Hello. So I will be testing out a lot more drugstore brands. So this is, of course, the VIP palette really like this palette for 12 euro you get 24 shades and it's just has such a huge huge mirror you guys can see my ring light so i will be going on the go to go and see people and like if i'm down the country or if i'm out of the country traveling then i can use this palette and the giant mirror to do my makeup in it so let's go on to the other one which is the guest list palette this is my favorite palette so far the Black Sparkly Palette, which I can't remember what exactly it's called. I will link it down below. It is available on Tam Beauty. Could not find that in the drugstore. Really wanted that palette, but I also really wanted this palette. So it has the little sheet with the names in it. This is this palette right here. This palette for me is the best, most beautiful red toned shades and oranges in the drugstore at the minute. Like, if you guys see, the pigmentation on these is also amazing. Let's just swatch a few. 
Like, do you guys see that? It's so, so pigmented. Let's swatch this one here. Let's swatch some of the deeper shades. Wow. Honestly, though, this is the deepest shade. <gasps> like, the reds and browns. It's so autumnal, and it's perfect for the winter time. If we swatch these on my hand right here, that's a transfer onto my hand. You can see how pigmented they are from every angle. They just look so, so beautiful. The feeling of them feels kind of like, it doesn't feel super smooth, but it also doesn't feel super drying. It does not feel chalky. It feels like just an in-between of like, it feels like an in-between of like smooth and not so smooth, if it makes sense. A lot of these are matte shades. There are some shimmer shades in this palette, but there are a good few matte shades. And these are so pigmented for matte shades. And the deep reds and oranges, it's really hard to get a good red, very pigmented, especially from the drugstore. Even some high-end palettes don't have really good red shades or anything. So I definitely think that Makeup Revolution did an amazing job on this palette, the guest list palette. This was also 12 euro, which is a steal. For this many colours, you could build so many looks. I love the way Makeup Revolution has the like the prices. You could build your makeup re your makeup collection if you're a new makeup hoarder with just Makeup Revolution products because there's so many beautiful things. And Adam Minto, Adam Minto, who owns Makeup Rev, props to him. This is amazing. Looks so good and I can't wait to try it. The palette that we're going to be trying today is the Guest List palette. And then in another video that I'm going to film, we are going to try the VIP palette and the other two palettes when they arrive. So let's get into this palette right here. This, first of all, is just so beautiful. The shade names are Cha Cha, Spin, Slide, Lock It, Jive, Shake It, Two Step, Light Up, Neon, Get Down, Loose, Crew, Hip, Roll, 2AM, which is a super pretty red shade, Throwback, Bold, Lose It, Lean Back, Grind, Stop, Dark Corner, Backlight, and the deepest shade is Sleep, which is the deep brown color that I swatched for you guys. So these are the shades right here. So let's go in and create a beautiful look with this palette. I have a bunch of brushes in my cool like skeleton cup that I got for Halloween because Halloween is awesome. So I'm going to take this brush right here and we are going to go in with a mixture of Cha Cha, Two Step and Hip. These three shades right here for the transition shades. So I'm gonna use the mirror in the palette because it's super handy. I'm gonna go in with Cha Cha first. So I'm going directly into it. I'm sorry if you guys can see this. <sighs> These have a little bit of fallout, but not crazy amount. We're going in with Cha Cha. As my base, I have my MAC paint pot. My can, like my MAC paint pot that I always use as a base for eyeshadow because it helps it stick. So I'm going in with the shade Cha Cha. This is such a pretty colour. I love the transition shades that it provides in these palettes. Are just amazing. You can really build that up. I'm going to go... This is this one is quite powdery. But I mean, literally any palette that is high-end or drugstore has fallout. I mean, if you don't like fallout... I mean, eyeshadows just aren't for you then. Because all eyeshadows usually have fallout. So let's go into two-step. The fallout on this palette... There is a good bit of fallout on this one, but you can just kind of blow it off and stuff, and it's not super messy. So I'm going to go in to two step. I'd say that the reason they have more fallout is because they're so pigmented and stuff, so I find that's really nice. Two step is super pretty. It's like a peachy nude. I really, really like this color inside the crease. So pretty. So I'm just blending that in and we're going to go into this shade right here, which is Hip, which is this shade here. We're going to go into Hip and just put that <laughs> right here. Right, so this definitely has a lot of pigmentation. It, it does have a good bit of fallout, not going to lie. But it's not really bothering me too much because it's so pigmented and pretty. Oh, this is so beautiful. These peachy nude colours are just like my thing. I, I've not tried crease colours that are so peachy, like peachy nudes. And I'm really, really into it. So next we are going to create a super bright look. 
So we're going to take a smaller brush from Primark, which is this little brush here. And we're going to go into the shade Lock It and Loose. So the shade right here, up here, is Lock It and then Loose. So these two orange tone shades. We're going to go in with Lock It first. So I'm going directly into the palette right here. I'm going in with Lock It. And it has coated the brush, so I'm going to just tap some of it off and go in the crease with it. This shade is super pretty and buildable. Really, really beautiful shade. Oh, wow. <sighs> I'm noticing with this palette, though, if the fallout is really going to bother you, I mean, it's probably going to annoy you if you really don't like fallout, but... I'm not going in too hard, but I feel like the pigmentation is definitely just worth the fallout on this. I have some other palettes for Makeup Rev and they don't really have fallout, but it depends on the formula and the pigmentation. So I'm going to go in to the outer. <laughs> you guys can see the fallout there. It's driving me insane. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding guys. I'm, I'm not a diva. I don't mind a bit of fallout. So... Let's go in to the outer corner and into the crease. Then we're going to go in to the deeper shade, which is the shade Loose, which is this shade swatched right here. It's super pigmented. These, like, literally look like neon. They're so vibrant. Like, I'm living for how vibrant these are. Like, wow. They just blow me. Like, Makeup Rev just, like, blows me out of the park. Each time they create a palette, it just seems to be getting more and more pigmented. I know a lot of the older formulas I wasn't a big fan of when they were first starting out. But now I feel like they've really improved a lot of their palettes. And have just like upped their game completely. So I'm really loving everything that Makeup Rev is bringing out lately. Because I bought a lot of it from Tam Beauty and I'm obsessed. This is so, so pretty. So now we are going to be going in with these... 2am which is this red shade right here and we're going to be dipping in I'm going to be dipping in with a clean brush right here that I got literally I think I got it off like AliExpress or Wish so we're dipping into 2am which is definitely my favorite color of the palette so far it just looks so pretty we're going in the outer corner with this and we're going to really like deepen up this look because we have, I don't want to lose the intensity of this like neon coral colour, the coral red that we have going on at the front of it. I just really want to go in with this 2am one to just really make this pop, make this look pop. <sighs> I would suggest doing your eyes first. If I did my eyes, in future I will definitely do my eyes first with this palette because of the amount of fallout that it has so that it can still get the maximum effect and have this beautiful palette but it will just make it easier and I'll have less fallout problems if I just go in and I use it before I do my rest of my makeup so I will do that in future so because <laughs> the fallout is getting a bit much for me so I will definitely do that in future I'm going to go back in with the shade Jive into the inner corner right here then I'm going to go in with the deepest the dark I'm going to go in with dark corner because it's a deeper red shade as I showed you guys before deepen up that outer corner and then I'm going to go in with the deepest shade which is called which is called sleep I believe yeah the deepest shade is called sleep who doesn't love a good sleep? Like, sleep is, like, my favourite thing to do. <laughs> Literally, guys. Is anyone else just obsessed with, like, sleeping? Me. Oh, this is such a pretty deep purple shade. This is just a really pretty deep colour. So I'm really happy with the look so far. <laughs> the only problems I've had is the fallout. That would be the only, like, downfall of the palette. I would say it's a fallout, but it's not really like a downfall of the palette completely because this palette is definitely worth it. It's literally 12 euros and it's just so amazing. So I'm going to be taking, let me see, I'm going to be taking 
the shade Spin, which is this super pretty pink tone shade right here. This is one of the shades with a bit of shimmer to it. I'm just putting it right here at the very front of my eye. If you want to have like a super intense kind of shimmer effect, then you can go in with setting spray. So I'm going to be taking my Makeup Rev setting spray which I keep in my makeup bag because I'm going to be traveling down to like Cork tomorrow so I'm spritzing my finger with this. You can spritz your finger or a brush. I'm putting this on my finger just for a little bit of a quick shimmer. We don't want to like let the shimmer overpower the look so I'm just adding a tiny bit. Then I'm taking the shade right here. I'm taking the same shade and putting it in my inner corners. I am obsessed with this look. This is a really pretty palette. Overall, is this Erin approved? 100% yes. This is the Life on the Dance Floor Guestless palette. This is the most pigmented palette I've used in the drugstore in a long, long time. And this look I created, I'm loving the red colors and it's just so beautiful if you're into warm tone shades this is a definitely a must for you guys you should get it i will be linking it down below if the fallout annoys you all you got to do is do your eyes before the rest of your face makeup which i mean it's hardly a big deal like a lot of people do their eyes first anyway so yeah i am obsessed with this palette i love the, the packaging and makeup rev you have done an amazing job with the pigmentation of this 100% recommend for 12 euro i mean come on girl like this is like if you want to dupe the new morphe palette get this instead if it's too expensive the morphe one you're going to save a lot of coin get this one instead so really loving that palette which is again the guestless palette so i'm going to be spritzing my face with the makeup pro fix setting spray from makeup rev which is my favorite setting spray i am going to be taking some of my maybelline lash sensational mascara love this mascara it makes my lashes look a lot bigger than they really are it really makes them look good if you don't want to add lashes or if you're going to work or if you just haven't got time to add lashes then this is a really good mascara to like lend in your normal lashes like your natural lashes i hope you guys like this eye look i'm really into it let's take the lip trends from makeup rev the ultra vamp lip trends one set and this was 10 euro for this set which is super good quality you get like three i'm not sure if these are more glosses or if they're like liquid lips so i'm gonna be going in for this look i want to go in with the deepest shade here let's swatch all three shades for you guys this packaging is like super noisy let's swatch the shades they don't have different names but they just say lip amplification so these look super pretty this is the deepest shade here and I'm going to swatch it for you guys on my hand. Ooh. This definitely feels like a kind of suede liquid lipstick. Oh, the pigmentation on these is amazing. Makeup Rev has really, like, stepped up their game. These look amazing. And let's just swatch these other two. This is a real, like, a blood vampire, like a vampiric red. Super, super pretty. Let's swatch this one. <gasps> Wow, this is so pretty. I'm sorry for the, like super messy swatches, guys, but that looks so, so pretty. Really love that one. And let's swatch this pink. I like this because I don't have as many pinks, pink li liquid lipsticks or lip glosses that I would like. And this has a slight sheen to it as well, so it's a bit shimmery. I definitely think this one is a gloss of some sort. Yeah, this one is a gloss. So I think the other two are like glosses as well. So I think the three of these are glosses, which I don't mind. Like I'm not a huge fan of glosses, but I can rock one now and then, especially if my lips get like super chapped from wearing a lot of liquid lipsticks, which they do. I'm loving this eye look. It's so peachy and vampy. So I'm going to go in with the deepest shade here, which is this shade right here and put this on my lips. Oh, so pretty. living for it sorry for like the messy as heck application guys but for real like does anyone else struggle with that if you guys have lip piercings 
they can be super, super messy. I'm just going to go in with one of my new mermaid brushes. These are like the Artiste ones. Just kind of like a more affordable alternative. I got them for my birthday as a present. Love them. Just clean up that lipstick. Get those lipstick marks away. So this is the finished look. If you guys want to see me swatch all three of these shades without completely messing up my face, my face makeup then I will soon in a later video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it's super long. I am obsessed with Makeup Revolution. Look at them. They are so pretty. Makeup Revolution's latest launches and I'm really into them. So congrats Makeup Rev and I hope you guys like this video because it lets me know that you want more videos like this. Please hit that big red button down below to subscribe. Become a member of this makeup obsessed family. Comment down below Revaholic if you're also a Revaholic and comment down below what different makeup would you want me to try and I will be sure to go buy it and try it out and turn notifications on, tap that bell and I love you guys so much.